how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm incredible, fantastic weather, it's autumn. And I'm working with a really cool company here. Yeah. And my whole life, you know, like the universe puts you where it needs to put you and everything's kind of changed. And Good times, like, uh, you know, you've, uh, we had kind of like a catch up on LinkedIn, I guess. Send me a message and then like we try to catch up and mm -hmm. you say, hey, let's chat for 15 minutes. And so, um, yeah, super happy. Like I'm, I'm, I'm all about connecting and reaching out there. Like last week in the middle of the street, I shake some random dude's hand and I yeah. said, hey, let's add each other on Facebook. And then and this is it. So I guess in the world, it's the same. Like the environments of social are like that, right? Uh, yeah, so I've said, oh, what's 15, 20 minutes? So I've, I'm running now a project. I have to like dive in back into uh, creating sure. a client's work. So I said, you know, we just block this time. I can talk forever. That's what I like doing. And <laughs> people could be like sitting for hours and then go home and either complain or benefit. And yeah, so I said, yeah, I open my ears here and listen, you know, how can I, what do you think? What do you see in what, whatever you noticed? can be kind of helpful for you again. PR James. Hey, I'm here to see James. We have like a meeting, 3 p.m. And your name? Rocky. How are you? Good, good. Pixel, pixelized character. So should we sit here or you wanna... Yeah, tell, tell me what's going on, bro. PR video for yourself. With yeah. the real face with the name on Instagram. Uh, yes, I've been shooting a DM to you and probably looking at chefs in the area. And you've been like spontaneous. Yeah, I don't mind making a video. What do you do like in here? Like exactly? So I'm executive chef of Crave Cafe, which is this one. Okay. And we have one about two doors behind me. Yeah. Kind Cafe. I run that one as well. It's often the uh, daytime eatery. And we have Kind, which is vegetarian, vegan, and all day from morning to night. I run both kitchens. It would be pretty free reign to do what I want, as long nice. as it's not too outrageous and no yeah. complaints. Yeah, people ask me a lot, of, a lot of the time, like, What's your signature dish or what do you love to cook? Um, anything and everything. I'm, I'm a chef. I like all kinds of food. There's no one type that I like. If I, I had to choose, I'd say Asian, but yeah. that's purely because that's what I love eating. So oh. I've been to America, I've been to almost all of Southeast Asia, I've been to the Middle East. Great, it's a non profit cafe. They give all their big profits back to the community. Like, you know, two street parties a year, feed a thousand people for free. We, we just did one a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, we nice. cooked over 300 kilos of meat for locals to come and enjoy. That's pretty cool. I think I saw on one of your Instagram posts. Yeah, yeah. Where you've been uh, doing barbecue. Most restaurants and cafes are up and down summer and winter. The yes. crave is just consistently busy. Always consistently. Busy. It's crazy. I wake up around 5 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Have a shower, brush my teeth, get in my car, come to work. Start by 6 o'clock. Start at 6. Early, early bird. Well, I'm not an early person, but it is what it is. So coming from a restaurant background to a cafe, yeah. people are definitely very, very picky. Though. Yes. It's um, a challenge to get used to, but I do yeah. my best. Um, I think first impressions count, so if you've got a beautiful plate of food, yeah, you're not going to get a complaint. You know, as long as it tastes good, it's sweet. We have uh, two conference rooms. They, one is about a 10, 15 seater, and the other is 20, 25 seats and they can join together to make one massive coffee room to hold up to 30 or 40 people. In the past five years, I've noticed a trend where I discovered where, you know, being authentic, it's actually absorbs people to you, like absorbs the attention, right? Attention goes wherever it's absorbed. It could be art, it could be like an interesting personality, or it could be a Ferrari that you really, really want. But now even Ferrari is in trouble because People on social media start collecting that attention and, you know, no, not everyone wants to spend 500 grand on a car anymore. They can, sure. they can sure. with that investment, they can create a tribe and, you know, pay for drinks for all these peeps and live like, like never before. So, all these frames got me trimming a knife. Always on some new thing like riding a bike. It's two things in one setting, but I don't feel like selling for the time being. When I was young, I used to dream about the palm trees. After the summer achievements, I got a long sleeve.